So, so has uh, won the toss and will start this first semi-final of the Babalat Masters Cup. Quite a rally to begin. So it's forehand eventually doing the damage. serve that uh, Searle has got but also takes the ball pretty early Forehand doesn't fire that time for Searle Is effectively, but winning the point anyway. All right, so heavy game serve from him. Love game to begin for Sir. Nicely done, good injection of pace from Searle. Started very impressively here, taking the first five points. Ellis not able to get on the board here. favour and so this is a hot start. Eight points in a row to begin. That's massive that serve. Well to get it back. Marcus Willis uh, once again in the commentary box alongside myself Guy McCree and what a start this has been from Searle to this one. Yeah he's, uh, <laughs> he's playing well I think he had a long one in the last match. Um, yeah. He's finally lost a point. Yeah, tough match with Adam Hassan um, out on oh court well, three. Obviously, it's obviously uh, seeing the ball well. Good serve, good forehand, solid backhand. Well, no reason. He's got a bit of a reputation for providing running commentaries in his matches, but there's no need to say anything at the moment. No. Letting his touch tennis do the talking. Lost another point there, but still opportunities here to move three love ahead. Reminder, as always, first to four games wins the set. So, deciding point then. Receiver's choice. The juice. is growing into this match a bit more now. He's on farming 40-15 up there. So 
against the one. Oh, first fast set. start from Searle. And they're breaking back here first set. It's won 11 points and uh, Ellis has won four and it's on serve. Streak, then, uh, streaky. Streaky, yeah. Not a lot Searle did wrong there, actually, to be honest. You know, you know these guys pretty well? Played them? No. Not so much. They started playing a bit more when I, when I uh, went back onto the tennis tour a little bit. Sure. Um, well, I've never played either of them, actually. Oh, yeah. Won't be the case with our next semi-final, Roberts and Moles. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've played Moles, but it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a good return. Hard oh, back at Ellis. Very good return. <coughs> oh, that's good. Very good yeah. Good footwork as well there for me to set it up. Deciding point here and it's, yeah, it's Searle who's pumped up. He's going very big with his forehand again there and back a break in front first. Would have, been, would have been really, really harsh if he lost another juice game. Two games all and, you know, dominating the early start of play. Very big serve. One of the biggest in the game, you, you would say? Yeah, that, that I mean, doesn't go for it every time, but when he has, he can really crank it. I've got to say, Ellis did very well to get that back in play. Kicker was a brute. Let's see, he's got the kick, he's got the flat one, he's... Bearing his serve is, is what you want to. It's a very effective way of, way of serving and touching it. Looks like he's got different spots he can hit as well, which, when I mean you need it. You ah. What a point. Really good point. Just can get caught a little bit at the net, can't he, Searle? Sometimes doesn't do enough with the first volley, and Ellis does enjoy that pass. There's a he, didn't need to, yeah, he needed to cover something there, I thought. Go pick one way, make yourself, make yourself big. Can put people off sometimes. Wow. Oh. An incredibly good volley, especially on the forehand That's side. Cool. To have control from down there. So. Not as comfortable up there as his opponent. Made the right move. A great defence from Ellis there. I mean, those volleys, the high ones especially with no pace on there, they're tough. But 30 all. Great point. He's got the ace off the net. Yep. Juice. That's allowed. Deciding That's allowed. But he went down the tee there, so he's got, he's got the, the, different, the different serves. Ellis can't get a read on it. Too good. Yeah, he's come through. He's oh, taken so. the deciding point again. And he's taken the yeah, set with one. it. Stuart Searle, four games to one. Very good. It's fair, isn't it, so far? He's been the better player. I mean, Ellis doing quite well, actually. So yeah, to Ellis get a game came on the into board. it there and Searle with two very good points. 30 40. You know, this match is, uh, is far from over. It took him a while to get going. It's tough to come out of the blocks like Cell did, so so having that come out is tough. But since since two love, it's been what three juice games has been. But Cell again there was yeah. yeah continuing his uh, dominance over Ellis. Uh, 
the two previous meetings won those in straight sets uh, won a match at the, uh, the British Harcourt Masters uh, Searle over Ellis and then also beat him at the All England last year so he's won all six sets now that they played He's got ability though at Ellis and the way the, uh, the opening set's gone hardly out of this as of yet. Took uh, Elliot Mole to three sets in Siren Sester this year. Yeah. Oh, that's nice touch from Sewell that time. Very solid point he put together. And this time he has the finish at the net. Stop volley. To it. Both of them have got their band of followers uh, <laughs> to the side of the centre court. And he's known as the banker, Searle, okay, so. and he's certainly profiting here at the moment. First set in the bag and uh, now getting another break. Good. do some damage with his yeah, forehand. He's the one he's mainly been having to absorb Searle's pace so far. First to take charge of that rally. So looking like he might not back up the break here. Played those couple of points very well, didn't he? Um, to go 3 1 up in the first set, holding on to the break. He's gone big with the serve and hasn't worked this time. Ellis breaks back. First time, really, that he's faltered. Saying that he's had the variety on the serve and has made it, but there, not good enough. That's wide. Love 15. Probably the first mistake he's made at the net. 30. Yeah, no, it's, it's a tough shot. So I guess the right way on the uh, right way on the approach and um, yeah, put a good pass to his feet.
break points. Right, that's wrong. Still more to 40, come. 40. Two more chances. Oh, game so. So, so back a break in front. In the second set. Set two one. So leads two games to one. Second set and by one set to love. What have you made of the level so far here, Marcus? I mean, you know, obviously one of these guys going through to the final to play Roberts or Mould, what you've seen so far from them, from Searle, I suppose, in particular, where he's at, at the moment in charge of this semi. Ellis will be annoyed with, the, with, with those two volley mistakes. He, the tough volley he missed before, he went the wrong way, he went into sort of strength there. And you've got the short ball, you've got to... Play the law of averages. He comes in a hundred times his backhand. He's going to win more than coming into his forehand. And, and, and that volley at 30-40, it's scoreline. Scoreline's four one two one, but it's not a million miles off, Ellis. Fifteen all. Solid from Sarla. Big serve. Yeah, he's able to get a few cheaper points as well. I suppose that's the other thing. Ellis doesn't really have that. Solid kicker, um, but no, it needs another shot. And when he missed that volley, oh, that volley itself 40, is just not 15. missing. He's, he's in quickly. Nice and easy, that height. for 3-1 big oh, serve this is huge isn't Thank it yourself. into the body that time really mixing it up well Stuart Searle and now a game away from the Masters Cup final well played Just stayed again. there didn't he yeah. again didn't have to be a great shot cross court, any shot would have done. But no, again, going into cell strength and still a great pass. Depth on that approach, but yeah, so I'll be annoyed. He had enough time there to um, to at least make Ellis play the volley. Serving to stay in the semi final here, of course, Ellis. As you see, Sells in control of this now. 15-30. Three match points. 15-40. Indeed, moving very quickly to it, actually, because the first set, although it was 4-1, it was a bit tighter than that. This second set, Searle has been much the stronger. about that he might not win this semi-final he's come up with the shot of the day arguably there Ed Ellis take a bow I still don't know how he made that <laughs> incredible shot whatever happens now <laughs> that's oh. some inspired stuff beautiful though. tennis you never know well, there's a forehand pass of his actually on YouTube, uh, but uh, the shot prior there, up with it for just the match point quality as well. <laughs> Still match point. Oh, it's all over this time. The third match point, the deciding point is the one, and 
Stuart Searle is into this year's Babalat Masters Cup final with a victory over Ed Ellis. He's uh, third out of three in their head-to-head -head meetings. Still hasn't lost the set to him. 4-1, 4-1 this time, and Searle is first into the final here in Tolworth. That's quite a performance we're going to hear from Stuart Searle now, the victor. 4-1 and 4-1 over Ed Ellis here. Stu, congratulations on that win in the semi-final. Thanks very much. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased. I've had a pretty good day so far. There's a lot of really, really good players here. I'm just pleased to be playing the best I can and uh, winning a couple of matches, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you came out of the block super fast there, breaking uh, straight away. Was that the plan? Absolutely. Uh, I've played Ed a few times. We play quite different games, similar from the back of the court, but Ed... Ed uses his serve to sort of push someone out wide and get into the point. I try and use mine to sort of try to dominate the point as soon as, as soon as I can. So I thought if I can get an early break on his serve, then I can hopefully be comfortable and take the rest of the set. Absolutely. I mean, that serve is such a weapon, but the rest of your game is pretty massive as well. Well, I don't know about that, but I, I, I just love serving. It sort of clicked earlier this year, actually. I played a tournament in January and I, 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 was, all, I was sort of hitting my serve quite medium pace and I just decided to sort of put it up a little bit and I didn't really miss too many so I thought I might as well carry on. Yeah, certainly working. Does this um, does this surface suit your game? Absolutely, yeah. Whenever we play tournaments and we've got this surface out it really, really helps me because I like something that's really nice and solid underfoot that I can sort of plant my foot and move as quick as I can side to side but also something where my serve kicks up nice and high so this really helps that. Absolutely. I mean, let's talk about the second set. Three breaks of serve uh, straight away in that, uh, in that second set. I'm sure that's something you hadn't planned on. Absolutely not, no. The first set sort of went to plan, sort of get the break and carry on serving well from there. The second was up and down. That, that last game where he sort of nearly came back and got to 3-2, he, he sort of started hitting a few quite special shots and I was a little bit nervous about a comeback, but I managed to stop it in its tracks. Uh, you've talked about um, taking a different approach in touch tennis and sort of, you know, general life. Do you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> well, not too much, but uh, no, I, I sort of, I think I used to be when I was younger playing tennis and early days of touch tennis, just a little bit a uh, little bit erratic with my mood and my, my psychology. So I'm sort of trying to stay a little bit more level-headed these days, and it seems to work a little bit. I sort of got that from Jamie Sackey, actually, Grindiana Jones. He's a, he's a very level-headed guy, and I looked at him and started, started to try and emulate that, and it's worked a little bit. It certainly is. Uh, tell us about this crowd you've brought with, with you. Uh, they call themselves the Ultras. I'm not sure I'd want to associate myself with that name, but uh, yeah, it's a few guys that I know really well, and uh, they've come down and support me today. I'm pretty delighted. They've got some quite funny chants. Mysterious Searle came out at one point, which was quite funny. <laughs> Fantastic. So you're in the final. You play either Roberts or Mould. Um, who would you prefer? Uh, well, <laughs> it's a tough question because I've played Elliot a bunch of times and never won, but this year I got as close as I ever have done, and I was two points away from winning. We were in a final set tiebreak. Roberts is, yeah, there's not much more that can be said about Roberts hasn't already said. He doesn't ever miss. So for me to win either match, really, I have to play 100% pace, attacking all the time, which is a challenge, but it's one I'm looking forward to. Well, congratulations on winning the semi. Good luck in the final, and we'll uh, speak to you later. Thanks very much.